Alrighty, it is time for another video. And today we're doing one for you new people, maybe you're not subscribed, maybe you need something to subscribe for. That is all good. We're here comparing mobile uh, gaming and that sort of thing versus desktop gaming. Uh, if you're stuck on the fence, you can't decide it, maybe you travel a bit, that sort of thing. Then this video is made for you. Of course, we'll have different answers for different people depending on what your situations are. And we're gonna go through them in this video. Before we do that, we just have a few things to cover about the up and coming things in this channel. Get really excited because they're gonna be lots of fun. Alrighty, so on the 23rd of December at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I figured that it'd be the easiest for you American viewers as you are the biggest sort of sum of people who watch the channel. We're gonna be doing a Christmas charity live stream. It's gonna be lots of fun. And all the money in that video that gets donated is going to go to the Save the Children charity. Yeah, uh, basically they do amazing work uh, saving children who are going through starvation, being abused, all that sort of thing. It goes to saving their lives. Uh, so it's all for a really good cause. We're gonna have a donation goal of around $100, $200. Just depends on how many of you guys show up. So if you could be there for the stream, just know, there's gonna be a bunch of fun stuff happening the entire time. Oh yes, and by the way people, there will be a reminder notification on our live stream channel. So if you don't know exactly what 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is for you, then that'll be there and it'll probably tell you the actual time. Yeah, for, for you in particular. So we're looking at mobile versus desktop. Now to make this a even fight, we don't wanna be making it unfair for one side because I'm a bit biased uh, towards desktops. Anyway, we have a $750 desktop uh, PC. I've built it myself, so I know how much it's worth. And we also have an iPad Pro, which I picked up for $750. They both cost exactly the same amount, and I did get both of them in refurbished, new condition, that sort of thing. So this is a completely fair fight. We didn't buy one new or one second hand or anything like that and we're gonna see what happened. Now, the other thing that we had to take into account was uh, how new each of the things was. So we tried to make sure that all of the parts were originally made at around the same time. So the iPad Pro is the 2018 model. It does mean that it still has the nice full screen, all that sort of stuff. And our PC parts, like an i3-9100F, an RX 570 8GB model, the uh, uh, 8GB of DDR4, it's all stuff that came around around 2018. So this should be completely even for the most part. Let's get into doing a few benchmarks, uh, showing you what each device can do and then telling you which one is good for you. Now, gaming was the main part of this test bench, and while the iPad Pro, it performed admirably uh, in every single test bench we threw at it, even in high demanding games, it performed super well. I just think that the desktop takes uh, the, the win in my books just because of the lack of games on the iPad Pro because they've taken off games like Fortnite, there's no games like Rocket League, no CSGO, any of these big titles or GTA 5 or anything like that you can't get on the iPad and so it's just not really worth it 
for gaming as much as the desktop is. Now, with that said, if you are even looking at getting an iPad instead of a desktop, there's obviously other factors that you're looking at. So things like you probably are on transport a lot when you are gonna be able to use your iPad and all this other stuff that's going to count up towards the uh, lack of games and that sort of thing that are on the iPad. Well, lad, you know what all this games reminds me of? It reminds me of our streams. It's going to be happening on the 23rd of December at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you're there. Turn on the notification bell so that you know when we go live. And I'm sure it'll be a fun time. Also remember, it's charity stream. All donations are going to save, save the children .org. Uh, We're going to have a donation goal of maybe $100, $200. We'll see what happens. Come around spend you know that side cash that you have one two three dollars it helps a lot anyway i'll see you there another thing is that if you are going to be playing games as well as you know you maybe you're an art student or anything like that you do have the ability to use like an apple pencil or something of the sort like that with the ipad that won't come with a desktop pc now while you still can use things like photoshop and all that sort of thing on your full-blown pc uh, you can use very similar stuff on the iPad Pro and they've been getting really good at it and using stuff that is a lot like uh, the programs that you'll see for video editing, photo editing, uh, all this sort of thing that are on desktops. So I'd say that the iPad actually takes the win when it comes to editing, art, all that sort of thing. Alrighty, so I'm going to give you a few different verdicts right now about what we've seen and what you should be looking out for. Number one. If you're just looking for raw power, you know, you're not worried about doing like photo editing on the fly, you don't need that pen and all that sort of thing, you're not an art person, go the PC route. It's going to last you a fair while, this route, and it also means that you can play all those new games coming out, you can play Rocket League, CSGO, uh, GTA 5, anything like that is going to be available to you, and you're going to be playing at a really nice high settings. Now, number two, if you are a really busy person, you're always on transport, you know, that sort of thing. So being able to use like a gaming device or even like an art device or anything like that while you're on a train or on a bus or, you know, even on a plane or something like that, then obviously go the iPad. It's, it's so much better for that. And while it may be a lot easier for you and you might get a lot more done by having a desktop, when you're busy, it's just really helpful to be able to do it while you're on the go. You don't have to come back home to it, you can just do it whenever, and then when you get home, just relax, and you don't have to worry about doing it then. Now, I know there are a few more groups of people, but we're just gonna go over one that's sort of stuck on the fence. You know, maybe you're a high school student, university student, that sort of thing, and you do want it for school, you do want to be able to take it to school, but then you also want to be able to play games with the boys when you're back at home, all that sort of thing and you're stuck on the fence because you need it for school and that makes your you know teachers professors whatever you have happy but then you kind of miss out on playing with the boys like you can join a discord call but it's really hard to you know get onto the fortnite grind all that sort of thing now being stuck in a position like this is really really hard because it's it's just hard to choose which one i've been in it for a long time and i ended up getting both uh, but if you really only have $750, you can't see any money coming in the foreseeable future, that sort of thing, then I recommend it just cutting in half, spending, you know, 400 on each, and just getting like the iPad 8th gen, and you know, like a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard, all that sort of thing for school. It means that you have a very nice device that's going to have updates for, you know, the next six, eight sort of years, so it's going to last you a long time and it's, it's got decent gaming performance, it can play games, all that sort of thing. Then with the other $400, you build a gaming PC. I've done builds for $400, uh, you can check one out right up here. I built a flight simulator gaming PC, it was like the recommended specs and everything. It performed very nicely. So if you do both of those, you get the best of both worlds. That is my opinion for you students who aren't art, aren't always busy, that sort of thing. That's what I recommend for you. Anyway. There's your three options. I hope this helped you somewhat. Anyway, uh, we do have a Discord server if you do want to join. Remember, we are doing a charity live stream on the 23rd of December at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, <laughs> not too much more to say. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Bit of a short one, but uh, yeah, that's it.